Howdy everybody, well, time has come. I'm here at Benny's in Groton, Connecticut. Uh, a few people recommended that I come take a look at some Benny stores, and I've actually uh, posted blog posts on my blog about them. Uh, I'll talk more about the blog later on in the video though. But just look at that. Benny's. So uh, this is actually an older Benny's location. I believe they opened up back in the 60s, 63 I believe. Uh, that might be totally wrong. Uh, and it's kind of been like the flagship store of sorts for uh, Benny's. Um, you could tell there used to be paper up here and it's just fallen down. You can see right on inside. You can see right where the uh, shelves used to be. So yeah, uh, this was one of the later locations to close um, towards the end, hence it being one of the uh, oldest locations in the chain that was still operating at the time of its closure. Uh, for the most part, when this store opened, Benny stores were usually about maybe half this size uh, and were in more urban areas. So this one was uh, quite unique when it opened. My dad worked here as a teenager back in the 60s and 70s. Actually, just the 70s. My dad's not that old. Sorry, Dad. But here you can see Benny's will be closing its stores at this location Tuesday, October 24th at 5 p.m. So you, you could see it closed last year, October 24th. Wow, it feels like it's been gone forever. Can't really see too much inside. Uh, a lot of glare from the sun. Oh, look at that. I don't know if you can see it real well. Saturday, October 21st, 2017. Here we have some signs for the store fixtures. There's actually still a lot piled up in the back of the store. Sorry, I guess there was a lot of echo in there. Uh, and you can see some of these signs have just become so faded. But yeah, uh, Benny stores were quite popular in the eastern Connecticut, Rhode Island, and Massachusetts areas. Uh, and the stores ultimately closed because the Bromberg family, who uh, was in charge of managing all the Benny stores, just decided to retire. And they didn't exactly want Benny's to uh, turn into something other than what they wanted. So instead of deciding to uh, change hands in the management, they just decided to liquidate all their stores. Quite unfortunate, considering how uh, it really is kind of a relic in the era of, of Walmart and uh, Target. It was one of those stores that you go to when you have literally no clue where else to get it. It's one of those have-everything stores. But yeah, for the most part, uh, the store's pretty intact. It has this cool paneling underneath the roof on top. Uh, back when this opened in 63, it was actually like the only store in the shopping center. Uh, as you'll see over here, it's actually not attached to some of the adjacent stores. They just built around it really closely. You can see over here, there's this little alley. I'll take a walk down there, see if there's anything cool in back. Um, and today is, uh, I, for I forget what day it is. What day is it? Today's July 10th. And uh, I was out here in the Groton area filming some videos. So uh, I was actually at the Tim Hortons location, which is just down the road. And um, there was an old Benny's bag in the drive through lane. So if you want to see a little bit left over, check that out. Here we have the old electrical room. Warning, this premises is protected by an electronic security device. I believe that used to be the uh, electrical room, like an outside entrance to it. And here in back was originally what used to be an auto center, I believe. And then it kind of turned into like a receiving dock. Got some stairs over there. Old garbage chute. Look at all that. I don't. I don't want to stick my camera too far in there. 
But uh, down there are actually a whole bunch of Benny's price tags. I have a number of them at my house. I wonder what that is right there. Some kind of paper it looks like. So I was incorrect about that other site being a uh, receiving dock. This is actually the receiving dock for the store, as you can see. And you can actually see where the old building meets with the new building. You have that different paneling on the side. But uh, this is where the, this is what the rear side of Benny's looks like. Not a lot left. I wonder what this is over here. Thank you for shopping with us. Hmm. So yeah, that'll about wrap it up. Uh, there's other stuff down there, but that's for the other stores, and I don't exactly feel like uh, like walking all the way around the building. It's quite large with uh, the Benny's building and the other strip center adjoined. Uh, but this has been a tour of the Benny's store on uh, Plaza Court in Groton, Connecticut. Uh, and like I mentioned earlier, I of course would have my little shameless plug at the end for my blog if you want to check it out. Ranzarsblog.blogspot.com. It's a good time. I have a few posts on there about Benny's, including a complete directory of Benny's stores that I grabbed from their website. Uh, so yeah, check that out if you want to learn more about Benny's stores. It's kind of fun. And I hope to see you guys next time.